Two weather events which scarred Central Florida forever. The Groundhog Day tornadoes of 2007, the disaster in 1998. It was the worst tornado outbreak uh, in the state of Florida's history in 1998, and it was the largest El Nino in, in recorded history. And this year, El Nino is predicted to be nearly as strong, if not stronger. Exactly why an area wide tornado drill is set for Wednesday to stress the necessity to prepare. That is not to say that this year we will get hit by a tornado, but we want to be prepared because history has pro proven that tornadoes happen when El Nino cycles happen. Step one, have a way to stay in touch. The West Chew weather app or a weather radio will help. Two, look around now to see where you'll take cover in case of a warning and teach everyone in your family, teach everyone at work where to go. Lowest level you can find, interior space, no windows. As many walls as possible between you and the wind. Since tornadoes wind up much quicker than hurricanes, it's not a bad idea to have supplies in what will be your safe place, like a first aid kit, tools you might need to escape a damaged house, flashlights with fresh batteries. And for people with special medical needs, people who need oxygen or power to make sure their medical equipment is running at home, it's important that you register with your emergency management department. So after a storm rolls through, they check on you first. And new advice this year for people in mobile homes. If a bad storm front is predicted, you may want to find a concrete building, stay with friends or family ahead of the potential storm. Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.